I made a T. Higgins video last week. A lot of y'all, some of y'all liked it, some of y'all didn't. And a comment was just brought up, says, we don't need our first next year to pick up T. Higgins. So the question that I have for you, Lions fans, is are the Detroit Lions in a position to start trading away picks for players? What do you think? Had a conversation with two friends of mine this morning, and one thing is clear is Brad Holmes is he's conservative when it doesn't come to the draft. In the draft, he's very risque, right? He will go for it. Jamison Williams coming back up, doing all this stuff. Very conservative in the, the non-draft part. He will trade players away. We've seen TJ Hawkinson go, right? But is it time for the Detroit Lions to become buyers? And do we need a first-round pick next year? Aaron says no, meaning it's not time. He is worth, is he worth a first round pick? Well, he's also going to get a ton of money. Speaking of T. Higgins, I'd rather get a good DT in the draft or a good receiver. I don't think Holmes wants to pay. Always strive to be a buyer. Wynn says yes. Okay, so let's put up a quick poll real quick, which is the same thing. Are are the Detroit Lions? I just I just put trade out of the first because I don't feel like typing all that. Trade out or trade our first away. This is when a producer would come in, and it already says yes or no. So we'll take the poll results at the end of the segment. So are the Detroit Lions in a position to start trading away picks? We're going to focus on that first round pick. I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Trading away a first round, a first for a player would be a big mistake. I don't think any player who would be available at the deadline would be worth that capital. Okay. Aaron says we're going to need our salary to resign our players not just for him, okay? So we're talking about T. Higgins. Brad Holmes is most dangerous with draft picks. That is true. Wynn says yes. Right now, the poll results are a surprising 71% no to 29% yes after 24 votes. If you're in here, vote. I would appreciate that. Nick says, we got no pass rusher under contract next year except for Hutch because you will still have to pay Evans or Higgins. Brad does damage in the fourth through six rounds. We don't need our first. Okay. So the chat seems to think 69 to 31% that we should not trade our first round pick. Okay. So It's two different questions. Do y'all even know who's draft eligible? It's not a good pool for our weaknesses. Facts, Jack Campbell is developing into a pass rusher. All right. What do I think? Win says trade. The poll results are 71 to 30, 69 to 31. Let's get five more votes. If you haven't voted, Vote it. Let's get 45 votes or get at least give me one more so we can have an even number 40. Okay. We got 40. I'm going to end it there. 70% say no. 30% say yes. We have 40 votes. D Ray says D Ray. I'm sorry, bro says spend the first round on Evans or Adams. Okay. I think y'all know my answer. I think you know my answer. I think the Detroit Lions are in a position to trade away their first round pick. I think we are. Would I want to do that? Only for the right player. There's only a few players that are realistically in our reach. And when I say realistically, I mean that could possibly be on new teams next year, right? I would trade away a first-round pick for a few guys. 
One, his name is Brian Burns. And two, his name is probably T. Higgins. Those are the two guys that I realistically would trade for. Less capital would be somebody like a Mike Evans. He is not going to require a first-round pick. Neither is Chase Young. The issue is those players that I named, some of them are on the last year of their deal. So I'm not giving a first-round pick without a new deal. That's not happening. But do I think that the Detroit Lions are in a position to draft away a first-round pick? I do. And it, that, that is a really huge testament to the ability to build a team from Brad Holmes. I mean, he's had some misses. He has. Jamar Jefferson, he's a seventh-round pick. You, can you really call a seventh-round pick a, a miss? Levi is on the fence. Pascal, you on the fence right now. Afitu Malifanu playing some good ball, but, you know, he's, he's in his third year. Kirby Joseph, hit. St. Brown, hit. So he has more hits than misses. And I think that continues after the first round. But here's my thought, and I keep going back to this. It's two things that make me think that we're ready. One is Dan Campbell loves these guys, loves these guys. He, he just kept sticking with Kaminsky. He kept sticking with the same core that we have. And up until week two, we didn't have a pass rush or heading into week three. The other thing is, it's something that really, like, you have to pay attention to the small things. And it, it goes a lot under a lot of people's radar. But the last time, you know, Brad Holmes' time is from January to August, right? And him and John Dorsey have a press conference, and he says, we're ready to compete. Not we're getting ready. Not we're almost there. Not where we are ready to compete, which means that Brad Holmes, this is just my opinion. Brad Holmes is saying, hey, if there's a guy that I want that can take us over the top, I will go get him. He has not done that yet, but I don't think that that means he won't do it, if that makes sense. He seems to do it in the draft. We wanted Jamison Williams. We put these two picks together. We did it. We went up and we got him. Came, we got Josh Pascoe. We got Jamison Williams, right? We just haven't se seen it outside of the draft. And I think this year it, there's a real possibility that somebody, because you got to remember, when it comes to Brian Burns, the Carolina Panthers could be going into the trade deadline probably one or two wins. We're talking about two and six, one and seven. And the Carolina Panthers would be, in my opinion, willing to trade Brian Burns to get a first-round pick that they do not have. They do not have. And here's my thought. We'll wrap this segment and the show up. The Carolina Panthers could take the Detroit Lions' first-round pick, package it with something else to try to get further up to get somebody they're looking at. Because right now, let's be real, Lions picking in the 20s. At, at best, they're picking it in the 20s. So I think that while we have, while we can be, I don't know, Seven and one, six and two, Lions become buyers, and I think they could give away their first round pick. Those are just my thoughts. Let me hear yours.